What it is, what it do, Playboys and Pinups. I'm Slink Johnson, and today you're watching Black People Go Camping for oh, the no, first no. time. Have I ever been camping before? No, I've never in my life slept outside. I don't think black people go camping often because we look for a challenge. And what's the challenge in, in, in camping when it's hard enough to pay rent? I am not afraid of sleeping in the wild. Um, I'm from Kentucky, so I'm not really quite sure how that matches up to sleeping out here, but I am ready to sleep out here. I got on my leggings. I got on my little faux book bag. I got on my lashes. I am ready. No, I'm not scared to sleep in the wild. I'm only scared to sleep where the police frequent. I bought my thing. I left the thumper at home, but I got the yank, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't care about no bears. I don't give I don't give a damn if it's Yogi Bear, uh, Smokey Bear, Winnie the Pooh, all of them getting jugged. Come in this campsite, I'm gonna stab your ass. I think the hardest part of camping probably will be like to uh, set a tent. Niggas, again, don't set tents. So I am concerned uh, about what I'm gonna look like in the morning. I like to have all my products. I go into my shower, my running water. I don't know what to do. What I think the hardest part of camping is, is unpacking all that stuff. You gotta have all your stuff and if everybody ain't with it, you know, like Doughboy Lazy. Oh, he's so lazy. I can't wait to stab him. He might be the bear to get stabbed today. I think that I'll be able to do this pretty well. Oh, wait. Here we go, folks. Welcome to the great outdoors. Okay, I've never been camping before, so what do we do? Don't even trip. I'm gonna instruct you, you know what I'm saying? Because I've I, I seen this on TV before. First thing we want to do, we want to get the tents pitched. Teddy Ray, Doughboy, y'all go up there and set the tents up, man. Let's get it done real quick, because, you know, we losing daylight. Why we got to do the tents? Yeah, just because we fat. Oh. Because, man, I don't want you smoking all the weed. I know if your finger's busy putting tents together, you ain't twisting up and smoking my blunts. So you do that part. I brought the blunts. You didn't bring nothing. But I'm going to manage the stash. <laughs> How ahead, are you bro. managing the weed for the trip? Who organized that? I'm the founder and president of the Smoke Yours crew, Teddy. Quit go ahead. This nigga. Come on, man. Where's Look, Cat, Cat, go over there with them for some motivation. Still gonna roll up to a here. on the side. Up, bro? Kev. Yes. No, I, I need y'all to set the fire. Let's get this fire going. It's chilly out here already. <laughs> show Meg and show KJ how to get out. Yes. You know what I'm saying? This is what it feels like to have a dad. Yeah, something like that. Something like your daddy. <laughs> I'm about to go foraging and survey the area. How are we doing this? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it kind of does. Like, that's going to be the time. Right now, we on three. In the streets, I just play tic tac ho. We, we got the H, you know? You guys. Now what? Can we turn, what if we turn like this? Look, they have these. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That look like, so that's to hook it into the ground. Yeah. We hook what into the ground? Tip. Whatever these. When you put the actual thing on top. We have keep talk, keep, stop calling it things. We need to know what they I are. don't know. This don't even give it a fucking label, nigga. It just, it's pictures and you put shit in the shit and then it builds up. Just because you say it louder doesn't make it right. I am not prepared to sleep on the ground if I do not get this tent finished with freaking frag back there. Literally Humpty and Dumpty. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to go because they don't know what they're doing. Some dry. Key is to find good dry material to get your fire going with. Got it going a little bit, but burnt out because it wasn't dry enough. I don't know. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's, that's good right there. I'm gonna just go on over here. What's going on? This is crazy. Okay. Um, well, I'm not ready for Survivor. So three niggas can get under this? No, that's not how it's gonna play. Um, you gotta put the shit on the floor so niggas. So some of these duties. Oh, but out. oh, you're right. Jesus, Teddy. Now, yeah. you're, now you're cooking with gas. So we gotta put the things in the ground. And we need spikes. Where's the spikes? The thing that go in the ground. Right here. Something. There we go. I was starting to come back to me. Like I was in the streets, and shit got real one, one summer. Don't even hold that like that, because that's not how it's going to go. Just put it down for a second. Trust me. How you know that's not how it's going to go? Because you done been camping before? Because, no, I'm going to come. All right, well, you I'm build the rest of these tents, man. Uh, We're, We're going to barbecue. I mean, why y'all can put me on the team that's grilling? Look at them. They don't know how to
to pitch a tent? Teddy knows how to roll blunts, not pitch tents. And Doughboy, I'm not sure what he's good at yet, but we're going to figure that out because it ain't doing this. Look, we ain't even got the base together. I'm not sleeping on the ground if they don't get them tents done. Niggas got me uh, confused. I just don't sleep on a uh, ground, so uh, there better be a production van or something around here, but I'm not gonna be doing it. Sorry, sir. I don't know what got this thing. I think he might have uh, ate a wild mushroom, and now he, he was hallucinating. He acting weird. He over there chopping wood with his bare hands. He over there starting fires with his hands. I'm like, well, who is this nigga? Leviathan? Who is he? The fuck is Slink? Do y'all can y'all see Slink in the background? Slink gonna fuck around and get shot. <laughs> All cause they think this. What's the name of that uh the boogie man? Sasquatch. Sasquatch. <laughs> Niggas is gonna think Slink is Sasquatch <laughs> in the woods somewhere. Oh hey guys. <laughs> you know I'm just over here trying to make sure I do my part. I've never done it before, but I saw it on uh, Castaway, and uh, Tom Hanks has never led me astray before, so I'm just like, you know, we're going to make this happen. <laughs> I definitely think that I can survive in the wild, hunt my own food, uh, especially like if there's a rafts clo close by. Uh, I prefer rafts over vines because I get the fuel points at the gas station. I've been at it for about, uh, for about three hours. Slavery would have been so difficult. As you can see, we got some of the tents up. No thanks to Doughboy. Thank God I can read instructions and diagrams. You know, Doughboy only good with a donut or a hot link or a stuffed crust pizza. Uh oh, uh oh. Y'all seeing this? Y'all see, see that song? To hear he doing this thing, I don't know. That's St. Louis. First he came with the cowboy boots, then he scraping out trees and here, dude, I got a lighter, bruh. Kev, Kev, look, 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 look. I told you I could do it, man. I started a fire, bro. So here, we been cooking. The whole campsite been eating. I work real hard. Yeah, that's cool. Appreciate it, man. I'm glad you watched Castaway. That's amazing. I work real hard on this stuff. Okay, who has a ghost story? I have a story, if y'all ready. This is the story of a little black boy. All black men tell stories of little black boys because we used to be little black boys. Oh. This little black boy had a dream. This little black boy, oh, he couldn't afford Jays. <laughs> um, <laughs> This is the story of the little black boy that had to wear team shack oh. shoes all summer. <laughs> so this little black boy, this little black boy had a grown black mama, right? And she didn't really want to spend her black dollars like that. So she took this little black boy into the Payless and said, boy, you should appreciate mm that you even got money for the shoes to put on your feet. Never mind. Who needs a Nike check mark, right? right. You know? Right. It's nothing but six hours worth of roasting at school. <laughs> um, and humiliation. <sighs> so, you know, that little black boy had to wear them, them, them shack shoes all summer. One of the things I learned from this experience is that uh, I have to start camping with more culture people, you know. People who know what to expect during camping. I feel like some of the people who expected it to be like running water behind a tree or like hand sanitizer coming out of a tree. They're sap trees, not hand sanitizer trees. I learned that I'm not a morning person because everybody just want to wake up all early and say, hey, come watch the sunrise. They talking all loud in the morning. 
They like, oh, look what God did. I like to talk to God in the morning silently. So peeing outside was really the highlight. Doughboy running around here playing this damn music all night. I don't hear this shit no more, Doughboy. I came here for a piece of serenity. And then I was being abused audibly by his horrible ass rhymes. Didn't appreciate that, that shit at all. I'll go camping again. Off top, I'll go camping again. Um, maybe not out here. I wanna go camping in another area, you know, where, where I really feel big ass mosquitoes come land on my shoulder. You know, I wanna feel that. Like, I, I didn't even need a, a, my burner out here. Nigga, ain't no, we are camping in Malibu. I would definitely go camping again with my white friends. Definitely. I feel like they're gonna prepare better. They're suited for it. My black friends. I mean, what shit, you saw them niggas. I will absolutely not go camping again. My kids ask me, I'll feel disrespected and offended. I put a roof over your head and you wanna go sleep outside? Well, go on with your father then. I thought you were our dad, not no more. What I enjoyed the most was just being around everybody, getting to get away from all of the craziness of the hustle and bustle of life and just hang out in the woods with the squad. That was pretty fun. <laughs> Ooh, that nigga can't Thinking the clothes on the billboard. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You've been watching Black People Go Camping for the first time here at All The Digital. Make sure you like this video, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. It's been Conquer Cuz.